Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel answer card. So what do we have for Gemini please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini please for the week. What does Gemini need to hear the most? <laughs> no need to worry. If you're worrying about something you're being told by Angel Spirits Guide, there is absolutely no need to worry. Surrender, you know, give it up to the universe. Okay. So let's pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Gemini. <coughs> Oh, I've got a tickly throat as soon as I started your reading. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Gemini. Thank you for the week. Starting with the challenge position, 26th of April to the 2nd of May, 2021. message for Gemini. Thank you. Thank you. I've got the nine of cups and justice in the challenge position. So justice is a card of Libra. Temperance, card of Sagittarius in the advice from spirit and near future outcome. We've got judgment. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Oh, you know, seven of swords. Nine of Wands, Temperance, and the near future outcome, we have the Six of Cups with Judgment. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, give me a moment, Gemini. I'm going to clarify the Six of Cups. We have Queen of Wands and the Six of Swords. So <laughs> the Seven of Swords in the challenge position with justice um it feels like you're a you're the victim of some ill treatment and you're dissatisfied i don't know whether i mean you know this could be about waiting you might have heard yet in terms of the, the justice can be about legal situations government institutions it's also a karmic energy and you know with judgment wow this is karma so i have to i have to say i mean not just to do with legal situations but it feels like a higher power is on your side as well because whatever this was you weren't treated fairly and you were dissatisfied it feels like you were dissatisfied with how you were treated. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to clarify this Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Eight of Cups and the Temperance. Well, yeah, I know. I, I kind of get this, a Gemini, because this is, the Spirit is telling you that 
you will find a way forward having dealt with a negative situation. Temperance is a card of patience, moderation in all things, but it's an energy of balance will be restored, having something or someone caused instability in your life. You know, this is a card of instability, the devil. The devil can be a person, you know, and it, it can also be a shadow energy, a situation. It can be to do with toxic relationships in whatever situation this is, Gemini. Um... codependency, addiction, manipulation, power struggles. Uh, but it's where you felt powerless, you know. Th something was unfair. Something was very unfair. And you felt, you felt powerless to deal with something. Because, you know, the devil, it is an illusion. But, you know, he, he, he pulls people like puppets on a string. You know, because we give power to the devil, the shadow energy, the negative sometime. And there is an energy of finding a way forward and breaking free from what has been a bad cycle here. And just doing and just adapting and moving on from this. And Spirit is saying that you're going to find your balance. You're going to find your flow again and move on from whatever this devil energy was for you. Wow, because, you know, something has tested your faith, your resolve. It has been a difficult journey, but you will soon walk away from it, you know, and adapt, find your flow, move forward. And it's because karma is, it feels like karma and justice, maybe a legal situation or decision, is... is going in your favor and it will allow you to finally move on the the eight of cups can be a card of i mean there's levels to this card it can be walking away from something that uh, it can be to do from disappointment something that has disappointed you been a really testing journey but it feels like it's nearly over you know it feels like soon there's one thing to go one one thing to do and then you're done. You're finally free of whatever this devil situation was. So it feels quite close because certainly there's an energy of something is coming to a close here. And it feels like the happy equilibrium will be restored. So the Queen of Wands, I'm seeing her as having the last wand, you know, making this a 10, which is a completion. You know, it feels like some of you that... You know, this, the two sixes represent harmony being restored. And it's interesting because the cups is to do with our emotions and feelings, joy, you know, the spectrum of our emotions. But this is where we're getting the equilibrium back um, in its most basic form. And again, the sword's energy is to do with our mind, our thoughts, our perspectives. And this is about detaching from that devil energy and moving forward to that new world energy, heading in the right direction to better times ahead. So there's a feeling of, of finding the joy again. And you feel it's, it's within you. You know, this Queen of Wands can be a person, uh, Aries for me as a reader, you know, somebody who is empowered, somebody who is... Um, she can be a leader, you know, she can be a leader energy. So it might well be, you know, it, it feels in this situation, I'm getting this for you, Gemini, it feels like you are back in your power. She is somebody who takes calculated decisions, choices, which will bring her gain, which will add to her power, which will add to her success. So she's a very successful energy. I mean... It, it, it doesn't feel like she's a devilly energy. It feels more like this is about a restoration of you and your power. Something that had power over you, you are getting power over it because there is judgment. And again, with this, this justice, there could be some judgment you're, you're hearing about. Uh, sometimes this can be a judgment call. But it, it feels in this, I mean, it, it can be a judgment call in the sense that you might be made an offer 
and you don't know whether to take it or not. You know, the Four of Cups can be somebody making you an offer. I'm feeling somebody is offering you a, a legal offer. Certainly with this judgment, judgment, it feels like some kind of legal offer, settlement, um, call it what you will, you know, pay out. Uh, a wrong being righted because the just judgment is a card of, of rebirth. And again, I feel this is rebirth, rebirth in your power. Now, yes, it might well be that there is some judgment call to make here. Maybe there is some decision, you're offered something and there is some judgment call to make. This is a call to action. Because with judgment, you can finally release from a situation. You step out of the darkness into the light. So for some of you, there may well be a decision to make here. And remember, this decision is a karmic one. So make sure you make the right decision for you. Um, because this is about just allow whatever decision that you make. It feels like it will allow you to put a difficult situation behind you. The stress, the worry, the anxiety, the difficult journey, the test of faith and restore balance, walk away to something better. So I'm definitely getting you're, you're worried about this, but you're being told there's no need to worry because there's a karmic reward here. You are being oh, a karmic award. You know, you are being awarded for a wrong done. Wow. I mean, it feels like a tough energy and it feels like something absolutely was not fair. Um, there are levels to this, Gemini, but I'm definitely getting, you know, look, you know, full brand new beginning, shaking it off, you know, opening a new door, release, liberation. So the cards are pretty much saying the same thing, you know, just allow yourself to put it behind you. There's a, a beautiful new chapter ahead and this period uh, the Spirit is saying there's one thing to do and it might well be that might be the action that you need to take and it could be in the form of some kind of final judgment or how you actually step into your light and, and move away from this darkness now but it feels to do with some kind of offer that's coming your way someone's reaching out making you an offer and it feels to do with a legal offer okay Okay, final message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message for Gemini. Yeah, look. Love it. Koi carp, abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. And we have flamingo, unity heart. You are being called on to work on collective healing. And I do think for some of you, you are healing, reconnection to self, finding your joy again and putting it all behind you. And that's what I'm feeling is coming your way. Um, so any worries that you might have, don't be, because there's a lot of karma here. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you with Gemini and I will see you next time. Thank you.